is, if you want to sing along, you can to the book. It's 163, Heal Our Land, in the song books. Um, it's called Heal Our Land slash Come and Move. And so we're just singing this song, believing that we're turning our faces to God and that He's doing a work in us and healing us and this town. So just worship with us as we sing this.
your kingdom come, let your will be done, let your glory fall on your daughters and sons. God, hear us from heaven, send us your presence. We need you, Lord, we need you, Lord. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done, let your glory fall on your daughters and sons. God, hear us from heaven. Send us your presence. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Come and move. We say yes to you. here uh, as in heaven number 105 and it's even more confirmation because Logan was looking in the book for this song and then while she was literally looking in the book in the song we didn't even say anything and Megan just started playing it so that's just even more confirmation that 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 he is moving in this place and that the atmosphere is changing again it's number 105 in the book here's in heaven This fear is changing now. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. The evidence is all around that the Spirit of the Lord. Sing that again, the atmosphere. The atmosphere is changing now. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. The evidence is all around. That the Spirit of
try to sing another song. This is When You Walk Into the Room, number 118. Peace. 
cease to exist when you walk into the room oh, the dead begin to rise cause there's resurrection life in all you do tonight. We're just believing that everything we're praying, everything we're singing, we're just letting it echo. Letting it go forth into this town, into our hearts, into this atmosphere. I still think about little Trenton who was here at Super Summer years ago and just got up before everyone and said, I hope they hear us all the way up, up at El Cava. And that's what I hope tonight. Scratch the surface and only had just one glance. We've tasted of your glory, but there's so much more. We're standing on horizon. Where earth collides with heaven You're longing for your children To cry out for more We cry out for more So let it echo From this city To the nations The sound of praise let the windows of the heavens open wide and let it rain here inside your presence surrounded by your spirit we're satisfied but desperate for even more of you, even more of you, let it echo from this city to the nations, sound of praise, let the windows of the heavens open wide.
Somebody here, if you need healing right now, this is a promise that God takes care of you, that God heals you, that God protects you. And I'll read this. Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place, in the shelter of the Most High, shall abide, will rest, under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome, perilous, deadly pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust you shall take refuge. His truth, his faithfulness shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow, hallelujah, that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh and stalks in darkness, nor for the destruction or the plague that wasteth and destroys at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh or near you. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thou have. I'm going to stop right there. Gave me today. This verse is the one he gave me today specifically, and I am going to teach on it, just maybe not tonight. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. If you say the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling place, there shall no evil befall thee, no harm will overtake you. 
neither shall any plague or disaster come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee, to guard you in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up, lift you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trample under your feet. Because he has set his love upon me, because he loves me, says the Lord, therefore will I deliver him. I will rescue him. I will set him on high. I will protect him because he has known my name, because he acknowledges my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And everybody out there say amen. amen. You received that. God showed me a change in my viewpoint. They're going to sing a song and I'm going to step down here and just worship. But God showed me a change in my viewpoint. So many of us pray Psalm 91 over our homes and we speak, you know, I declare that no plague shall come nigh my dwelling. You know, I prayed that for ever since the pandemic started. I was praying that every day, two or three times a day over my house. And God showed me a shift in my viewpoint and it changed a lot of my thinking we are getting we're trying to get god to partner with us you know here's my house god come on and protect me in my house god come over here lord i've applied the blood to my house come on lord come on and partner with me god i'm gonna go do this come partner with me god but god showed me that we're supposed to partner with him and when we partner with him and abide in him then his word abides in us then we shall have what we ask. And in that scripture right there that I just read about his habitation, we skip over that part. This is the only part of this I feel to teach right now. Is We say, no place shall come nigh my dwelling, but the verse right before that says, because I have made him my habitation, because I dwell in him, because I abide in him, because I am twined up so closely to him, no plague shall come down my dwelling. Do you see that? If you are in him, wrapped up in him, he's your dwelling. And there is not a plague that can come nigh him. And God showed me, I don't know if you see that subtle shift in viewpoint, but it is it is very real. We're trying to get God to come over here and partner with us, whereas if we just come and partner with him and stay close to him, that is when Psalm 91 can really bear fruit in our lives. There's so much more to this that is so good. I don't feel it to do it right now. Sing it, I just feel to sing about the love of God. Because yes. that's what's going to change this town. That's what's going to change lives. God's not mad at you. He's not trying to punish you. He loves you. Jesus. And it's his love that moved him into action. Yes. To, to heal the sick, to cast out devils, to raise the dead. It was his great love that moved his heart. It says, and Jesus, moved with compassion, healed all that were sick. So I want you to just receive the love of God right now. Just let the Father just wrap his arms around you and just wash over you with his love. And as you feel that love just surrounding you, I'm believing healing for your total body, not just your physical body, but your mind yes. and your heart and your soul. Yes. Just receive the love of God. Clips by clips. 
you did before you came here an hour or two ago his love will find you it's higher than any mountain lower than any valley there's nowhere you can go that his love won't find you as you sit out there right now or somebody watches the video later 
just receive that love of God into your life. Don't let the devil lie to you. Don't let him accuse you and say, well, you don't deserve it. After, like Elijah said, after all you've done, you sure don't deserve it. That's a lie of the devil. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. If you need prayer, come up here. Let us pray over you. People of God, it's time to go all in. It is time to go all in. We have felt that during prayer this week. Two different sessions. It's time to go all in. Rise up, 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 rise up. Thank you. 